Definitely didn't think when I got up this morning I would get to ride a Triceratops at work, but it's what you get at Rainbow City. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm a strawberry pickle, and that's me, you know, as just an artist and a creator. This is Rainbow City, and I dreamt this up about 18 months ago. Just this big place that I can make where everybody could kind of seek their own artistic ability and have a place that, that they could have their home away from home. I looked for months, gave it a lot of thought, realized the location was just like, it was everything that I had been looking for for the past year and a half, so I just jumped on it right away. As soon as I realized realized that it was attached to hippo hardware and that they had the big rainbow and the big <laughs> hippo. I knew this was the place. For eight <laughs> years, I owned my own preschool. I'm actually an Army Reserve veteran as well. So I have a very diverse and interesting background and all the skills I developed over the years gave me the discipline, drive, and creativity to just kind of make an adult playland. Yeah, because when you're a kid, you get to have recess, <laughs> go out at lunchtime, play on the right. play things. Now you can do it as an adult. Yes. And it sparkles. And I just kind of wanted to recreate just that wow factor of, you know, this is a place where we can go to kind of escape reality for a little while and just kind of like make our own little world here, and we do. So I've actually developed quite a few characters around here that have little backstories and other things. So he's designed for photo shoots and other things. So he is definitely a huge part of this story that will unfold here, and there's definitely a story. Oh my gosh, yeah. this is amazing. This is Joel, and he was in the Starlight Parade. This is actually a horse that I used to dream about all the time as a little kid, and he would come to me in my dreams, and we'd fly around. It was this really cool, just kind of Pegasus horse, that, and I just decided that I would recreate him. So this so. is like your childhood dreams. It is. Doing this, them. <laughs> yes, this is the place where you're reminded of that the all night speed skate that you used to go to. They're playing, you know, the 80s music and you're skating around. It's all black lights and jelly bracelets. And I just really wanted to recreate my childhood because it was so happy and just share that with others. I think that I will just continue adding things as I go. So every time people come, there will be a new exhibit, there will be something new that I've added or created. So I'll show you, it's not too, too exciting now, but it, it will be pretty cool. <laughs> so I will be designing this as one huge art exhibit with some railings. So when you get married, you've got this amazing backdrop of dinosaurs and unicorns and a little forest scene. So this is actually, believe it or not, going to be the VIP area up here. So, but that'll be ready in about a month. This room isn't like too, too set up, but it's not too bad. I've got my three-eyed cloud. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted this room to be just very dreamlike and have a dreamy state. Usually there's a fog machine in here. Yeah, this will definitely be a room for dreamers, for sure. You can just do whatever you want. There's no rules in here. There are no <laughs> rules. Just behave yourself and act with the utmost of love and, and good intentions. And this is your world when you come in. Absolutely. Well, if you want to come hang out in a magical adult playground, Candyland, ride a Triceratops, that's glittering, have bubbles blowing at you all day. You can come hang out here at Rainbow City. You can find out all of their upcoming events. They have all kinds of things, daytime, nighttime, at rainbowcity.org. In the meantime, I'll just be hanging out with my Triceratops friend here. <laughs>